Congratu congratulations on the film. I hear it's amazing. It, it played in Italy at the film festival. It played in Canada. And now this is the American premiere. True. How do you feel about being out here in the Hamptons for your American premiere? Oh, well, that's always nice. I've never actually been out here, so it's uh, it's an experience. So it's nice to have it out here for an American premiere. Yeah, yeah. When you say an experience, what what's it been like so far for you out here <laughs> in the Hamptons? I just went to a nice hotel over there and had a nice drink. It was very pleasant. People are very nice, very beautiful. I think you're staying at the Maidstone. I think that's where it was, yeah. Okay, well, the film is supposed to be wonderful. What drew you to this character? Uh, well, I guess I kind of got to do everything sort of as this character, you know? I mean, he you go through 30 years of a guy's messy life, so he does everything. And there's, you know, it hits all the high points of, a, you know, his birth and death and three marriages and broken marriages and craziness and you know but it's a funny movie too so that was it it was just because it was everything I got to do everything it was also a book before it was a movie did you feel any pressure trying to live up to the expectations of readers of the book oh yeah sure especially in Canada because it's a huge deal in Canada but uh, I had to let that go I didn't actually read the book until afterwards I just used the script because I couldn't if I looked at the book I would probably be too heartbroken about what wasn't in the script so I, I couldn't look at the book so you work with some wonderful actresses uh, Minnie Driver uh, Rosamund Pike right. yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all great actresses yeah fantastic Minnie was great very funny to work with and then Rosamund's a very different character character and uh, she's terrific in the movie she's a great actress I guess it's kind of lucky for you because they in the movie you were married to all of them so you get you get sort of a taste of all of them I got a different <laughs> thing with each wife and they're all very distinctly one of them's completely crazy one of them drives me crazy and then one of them's very sane and lovely so I got to do the whole gamut and what's next for you? You've had such a great career with so many great roles that you've chosen for yourself or that have found you. And what, what's, yeah. I did a movie called Win Win, directed by a guy named Tom McCarthy, who did a movie called The Visitor and The Station Agent. And then I'm going to do a movie called Too Big to Fail, which is all about the Goldman Sachs. Lehman Brothers fun that we had a couple years ago. So, and have you been following everything that's been going on with the economy and with the, with the economy? <laughs> I've been paying a bit more attention now because I have to do this movie. But it's kind of hard to avoid following what's going on. So yeah, I've been following it like everybody else. So you feel confident playing a, a big-time Wall Streeter? I have to play Ben Bernanke, the chairman of the yeah. Federal Reserve. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that'll be interesting. Powerful guy. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. Have you spent time with him? No, I hope he's too busy to want to spend time with an actor. I, somebody said, you want to meet him, maybe, and I said, hey, he's got work to do. I don't want to take him away from important work, so. <laughs> All right, well, we don't want to take you away from the rest of the press that wants to talk with you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You bet. I'm Julie Walker. The 18th Annual Hamptons International Film Festival opens with the U.S. premiere of Barney's Version, starring Paul Giamatti. <laughs>